Check this out. And we're the general team. There is none. Rather, if you mess with us, we'll show where better. Don't front, don't lie, don't even try. Because if you mess with us, you're gonna die. El Cid does a thing called the rubber ride. It's the baddest trick that's ever been tried. Tidy T goes lost in major air. He does them without no care. Sweet Pete does a thing called the backyard swing. How he make it? Ain't no thing. There was a general tour, hey. smooth as the Lord. Hey. This video's rad of this we're sure. Hmm. The story you're about to see is true, and none of the names have been changed because nobody's innocent. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. Well, it's not really the city, it's the beach, a little southwest of LA. But this is where it all began. Well, it actually all began a couple of hundred million years ago. But this is where my story begins. Hey, dude, which way, Hawaii? Sunny Southern California. For sure, I did the backstroke all the way up to Malibu. Well, so it's a little overcast.
My name is R.L. Osborne, Pro Freestyle Rider, and this was the beginning of the general Stomp on the States summer tour. We had just completed customizing our new killer truck, and it was time to collect the crew and hit the road. I placed that task in the capable and often unwashed hands of Winkle. His first job? Find an announcer. Someone that was sharp, cool, and that could keep the crowd screaming their brains out for the entire show. What's up? What's up? Hey, what are you doing today? Nothing. Wanna go on a tour? I don't mind you. Sure. We'll cover all your expenses. What do I gotta do? It's like announce and stuff. Help set up? Yeah. Fine with me. You can some food in my valley. Who are we going on tour with anyway? Todd was jamming on his favorite video game at the local 7-Eleven. He'd been rocking about an hour or so when Winkle had finally found him, locked in a battle between man and machine. Todd, what are you doing? Dude, I'm jamming on this game. Not anymore, because we're going to go on tour. Plus, we got to go find R.L. Besides, you got to put a quarter in that bad day before it should work. So let's go. Oh. With Todd Anderson on air control and me on ground control, we were pretty much set. But I felt we needed one more rider to help us round out the show and take some pressure off us. So I set Winkle out one more time to find another guy who was capable of performing some rad double routines. Get me someone that's going somewhere. Yo, dude, you want to ride? Yeah, sure. Take a bus. <laughs> With Pete Carney, the crew was set. The tour was booked and the trip was mapped. I figured it was time to relax for a couple of days before we hit the road. Yeah, right. Just when I decided to take my last local crew, the crew was Hey, what's up? Where you go? I'm out cruising. What are you talking about going? Yeah, Where? I'm doing today. Not for a week. Yeah. Well, this night, nice. dude. Tonight. You guys want to leave today? Yeah. Catch me. Freestyle's a great way of life, but it takes practice. Lots of serious practice. Very critical when it comes to my crew. They all take their jobs very seriously. Okay, the ramps are tied down, bikes, uniforms, extra grips, brakes, tires, and all the other stuff is loaded. One more quick routine check around the system, and we're stomping the states.
unbelievable. Unbelievable. General King here. How do I look? Gnarly, man. Boogie, boogie, boogie! The tour would take us from California across the country and back. 40 towns and 40 shows, almost one show a day. After big towns and small towns and some detours in Texas, we headed into the boonies. Most of the time, we get a nice reception, but some stops are better than others, like Hutchinson, Kansas. Hardy Phillips arranged a radio interview and met us at the station. You got a pretty morning, Ariel, anyhow, yeah. for this interview. I think so. I think it'll be real good. You going to come on the radio with me? No, I'm going to let you pros handle that. <laughs> uh, there's a fellow inside named Sam Jones who will do the interview with you and a couple people from the Main Street event downtown. Great, Four great. Stops. You want to know what Three Styles is all about? Well, I'll be born Our guest this morning, we have with us Ariel Osborne, who is from Los Angeles, California, and he's a trick bike rider. And tonight at the Main Street event, it should be very interesting. They are going to have a trick bike riding display from 7.30 to 8.30 by Harley Cycle Shop. And Harley has brought him all the way to the city of Hutchinson. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. Good morning to you. How do you actually practice for something like this? It's got to take a tremendous amount of falls, a tremendous amount of bangs, bumps, and yep. bruises. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it can be painful. You know, we, we recommend safety gear, you know, all the time. And uh, we really we use it all the time. I train about three hours a day, every day. And, uh, you know, you have, you have so many tricks you have to train, have to do. And we do our routines over and over again, you know, for contests, because there's a competition schedule that goes throughout the year. And uh, it, it's, a lot, it's, a, it's a real active sport. You know, you have to be in good shape for it and stay in shape and work out for it, definitely. Things like this are not inexpensive. You've got travel, you've got the cost of bikes, a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Are you sponsored by someone? Yes, we are. Uh, General Bicycles, ACS, ODI, we have a lot of sponsors backing us. And uh, you really have to have that to be able to do it. I mean, this is, our, this is our job. A lot of people say, do you do this for a living? Can you make any money? You know, this is our living. It's our life. And uh, we couldn't do it unless we have companies like General behind us. And uh, they get us on the road and buy the truck and trailer and, you know, feed us and, and uh, keep everybody going. So, yeah, you definitely have to have a big sponsor to do this. I suppose to stay on top, you have to develop new tricks all the time because somebody's already mastered the trick you've developed. Yeah, How yeah. do you develop new tricks? Well, uh... It's kind of brainstorming. Sometimes it comes to you in the middle of the night, you know. Uh, sometimes it'll come to you when you're practicing or you may be at a at dinner table or, you know, a lot of different places. It's a good idea to write it down. Um, in a contest, I try to do, you know, it's one thing that uh, I take a lot of credit for and that I, I do all my own tricks. Uh, so, you know, a lot of kids, will, when we go to do shows, will say, do, a, uh, let's say, a, a pedal picker, which is a real common trick. Everybody does it. Well, I don't do it because in a contest, there'll be a million kids there doing it. You know, so I have, to, I have to be original and do my own thing. So at the show tonight at 7.30, there's going to be not only a good variety of tricks, but a lot of new tricks that have never been seen, never been done before in contests, and, uh, you know, very difficult maneuvers. But you'll see the best of it, definitely. If you knew a young person that was interested in doing this, what would your first piece of advice be to this young person? Let's see, I always say safety first, but this time I'm going to say fun. Make sure you do it for fun. A lot of kids see this in the magazine and they hear the money we make and stuff like this, and they kind of come into it as the idea, as it's going to be their job, it's going to be their life, and, that, and that's the wrong attitude. Come into it for fun. Have a good time. If you end up going to contests and becoming a big-name pro, you know, after you're making some money, then consider making it your life. But uh, for right now, just do it for fun, and that's why I do it, just for fun, and I'm, the, and I'm uh, 
big name in the sport and uh, leading points number one right now, and, and uh, I figure that's the best way to do it is for fun. The people of Hutchinson invited us to open the ceremonies of their annual Main Street event. Later on that day, it was time to set up. You can see that we do it with the same coordination as when we're riding as a team. early so showtime arrives early but then it's time for us to do what we do best Touring is great. Our route took us next to Abe Lincoln's town of Springfield, Illinois for the Lincoln Fest. Carrying the flag of Illinois and the red, white, blue. We revealed a few of our new tricks in the parade and would then put on five killer shows to follow. This is a general freestyle team and they do some pretty smart stuff. I think we've had them here with us before, have we not? Show it off, boys. Oh my goodness, look at him stand on his hand. The bigger the crowd, the radder we get, and the crowd at Lincoln Fest seems to get bigger and better every year.
after the show, we're still working. But this work is pleasure because these are the people who let us make freestyle our lifestyle. Cruising through the Midwest, we ended up in Brooklyn, checking out some of Coney Island's old amusement park. But Brooklyn is still a cool place, and with a rowdy crowd of happening freestylers on hand, we went out and did our show. El Cid does a thing called the rubber ride. It's the raddest trick that's ever been tried. Tidy T goes loft in major airs. He does them without no care. Sweet Pete does a thing called the backyard swing. How he do it ain't no thing. Now where the general tour, smooth as velour, is videos, right, of this we're sure. That's it. Traveling across the country in our truck, we listened to everybody else's music, and we decided that we wanted some of our own. And since this was as close as Pete was ever going to get to the Bronx, we took him into a New York studio to record our own team rap and our own brand of freestyle music. None right if you mess with us, we'll show where it matters. Don't front, don't lie, don't even try. Cause if you mess with us, you're gonna die. Die, 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 die. Riding, ripping, going on tour. Thousands of people will be screaming for more. We got the tricks that are the best, and you will know that they are fresh, fresh, fresh. We'll be cruising chicks both day and night Hip hopping your town to the broad daylight The doobies die, our system thumps We're stopping the stage for only two months El Cid does a thing called the rubber ride It's the baddest trick that's ever been tried Tidy T goes loft in major airs he does them things without no care. Sweet Pete does a thing called the backyard swing. How he makes it ain't no thing. No, we're the general tour, smooth as the Lord. This video's bad, of this we're sure. Sure, 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 sure.
Crossing into New Jersey, we were on our way back home to the West Coast. And in New Jersey, on one of the hottest days of our tour, we put on one of the most raging shows of the summer.
This is what freestyle is all about. Cool friends, good feelings, raging crowds, and good times. Even for Todd, who broke a wing blasting air over Brooklyn, this life is the raddest. It's a blast and a splash. Tour smooth as velour is videos right of this we're sure that's it so turn off your TVs now